Hi, I'm Jeremy. Hey, I'm Nick. This is Cloud of Witnesses. Journey with the Saints. You guys, this is part two of the St. Andrew episode. Please, if you haven't heard part one, go listen to it right now. Rabbi. Andrew. You were right. My brother. You were right. Not long after Simon Peter and Andrew became followers of the Christ, Jesus visited them one day on the shores of Galilee as they tended their nets. Andrew, is it just me? I used to care so much about fishing, and now all I can think about is sitting at the feet of Christ. Simon, or should I say Peter, you're the eldest. I know we have expenses, but you just say the word and our workday is done. Peter, look who's approaching. Uh, Rabbi, uh, we were just speaking of you. Teacher, we couldn't help but be eager to hear your words later today. Andrew, Simon Peter, I need you for my ministry. What? what? Rabbi, uh, we... Uh, I, I have hardly learned the way of your teaching. Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Uh, what? Teacher, uh, I, I don't understand. Rabbi, what do you need us for? We're simple people. We catch fish. You will catch fish no more. Come and follow me, and I will show you the way. Andrew. Is this the moment we've been waiting for? This is the moment all of our people have been waiting for. Is this it? It's time. Let's go, my brother. From this time on, the two brothers, Andrew and Peter, abandoned their vocation, their fishing nets, and followed Christ without looking back. During the years that followed, these brothers, along with the other ten apostles, followed Jesus the Christ in his earthly ministry. They beheld his feeding of the multitudes, his calming of the stormy waters. Lord, allow me to join you on the water. Come, Peter. Come unto me. Lord, here I come! And the twelve apostles finally witnessed the death, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. The twelve, having casted lots, dispersed throughout the inhabited world to preach and baptize the nations in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Meanwhile in Greece, in the distant city of Patra, the pagan governor, Egetos, continues to struggle to find a cure for his ailing pagan wife, Maximilla. Egetos! <coughs> Nothing? No improvement after your potions and incantations? Bring me the priest of every pagan temple around! Find me the one who can save my wife! Egetos. Call in the sorcerers. No. No sorcery. Not yet. From the shores of Galilee to distant Scythia, Andrew preached along the Black Sea and the Dnieper River as far as Kiev. Andrew preached in Thrace and throughout the far reaches of the Roman Empire as far as Novgorod. Brother Simon Peter, my rock, things go well in the power of the Holy Spirit. God continues to change hearts and minds. I hope that your missionary journeys are likewise. Yet, not all were happy to have Andrew among them. Men and brethren, sons of the family of Abraham, and those among you who fear God, to you, the word of this salvation has been sent. Indeed, 
Andrew's life was at risk on many occasions. They're throwing stones at you! Andrew! Run! Yet, God continued to deliver Andrew from adversity. Captain! Matthias! The one who preaches of Jesus of Galilee! Yes? He... he has escaped our prison! Under our guard? Captain! You don't understand. Do you know what this could mean for the gods who look upon our city of Sinope? It could cost you your head. Captain, every chain, every lock was undone practically before our very eyes. They say he was freed by the prayers of that Christian, Andrew. This could mean my head. As the weeks and now months carried on, the governor of Patra, Egetos, still sought in vain for someone to bring healing to his wife, Maximilla. <coughs> I've prayed and offered incense to every Roman god, and now these sorcerers have set spells over me. Egetos, governor, we have tried all our arts. Be gone! Worthless! Alright, throw this blasted Andrew's body out for the dogs. May the blessings of the gods be forever with us, and may this accursed apostle be forever forgotten. Forgive them, Lord, for they know not what they do. Lord, if it is my time, receive my soul in the kingdom. My dear Andrew. Is that you, my lord? I am with you, Andrew. Be of good cheer. I have healed you, because your work as a fisher of men is not yet over. Master! But so many refuse to listen. Some will listen, my son. When the heathen deliver you up, do not think about the words you shall say, Andrew. For the Holy Spirit shall speak through you. Say be to you so, yet Jesus delivered and healed you. Praise be to God. I'm writing to Simon Peter, your sister's husband. Christ was clear. The Great Commission must continue. And now we travel to Patra after so many years of journey. Their governor has grown more and more agitated with the growth of Christianity. Maximilla, Maximilla, my dear wife, are you with me? A Agatos, Agatos, the, a, a dark cloud is descending upon my eyes again. I, I don't know where to do. Where are you? Where did you go? No, no, don't get up, Maximilla. Please stay where you are. Agatos, I'm afraid to be in the darkness. Where are you? Why? Why? Oh, gods above. What have I done to invoke your wrath upon us? What utter shame this is for me, a proconsul of the Roman Empire, to be like this. <laughs> Master Egatos. Send the doctors away. M Master... I've had enough of these leeches who practice their medicine to take our money and make fools of us. Master, this this is different. The wonder worker Andrew is here. What? Yet another soothsayer. No, proconsul. He works miracles through the name of Jesus, who he preaches is God in the flesh. Do you not remember hearing the rumors of his miraculous healings? Superstitions. And yet... Agathos, 
this could be my last hope. <sighs> Very well. Bring him in. Yes, Proconsul. Daughter Maximilla, do you want to be healed? I want to believe that I can be healed. Do you believe you can be healed by the power of Jesus the Christ? I, I, I feel that you are a man of God, unlike all of the others that have come. I believe. I believe that the power of Jesus can heal me. Your faith has made you well. Stand and receive your sight in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My God! I, I can see again! That the pain from my limbs, they're gone! My, I, I can see! I... I know not what magic you worked, but thanks to you, my wife is healed. Your sorcery is of the gods, I take it. This is not the power of the gods. This is the power of God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth, Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the one true God. <sighs> that Christian superstition? Impossible. Leave our presence. In the days and weeks that followed, Andrew remained in Patra to preach. And many believed nearly all the city was converting to Christianity. I cannot stand for this. This magician comes here to revile the gods of Rome. And the people follow him. My love, he saved me. The city is turning against our gods. He must be put to death. We must stamp out this growth. Leave him be. For me, your wife. He saved me. He healed me. I can see you again. It is far too late for that. No, you didn't. I order his execution by decree. Set the wheels in motion this very morning. You'll have the blood of God's own on your hands. We are here to arrest you, Andrew, son of Jonah. No, he's done nothing wrong. This can't be. No need to arrest me. I'll go with you freely. Andrew, no. Zulma, remember Stephen. And thus, Andrew, of his own free will, submitted himself to be taken to the cross that had been prepared for him. This cross, unlike the cross of Christ, was in the shape of an X. And Egetos' cruelty was not at an end. We are ready to nail his hands to the cross, Proconsul. I want him to suffer and not get the benefit of death so easily. Tie his hands instead, and so let this be a warning to those who follow this blaspheming charlatan, and to all those who would dare to deny the gods. And thus, Andrew was tied to the cross. And so my end should not trouble you in the least, for I have carried my cross, and my end is soon, which is a great joy to me. Because our end will surely come. It will come for all. And lived for three days more on the cross, preaching the gospel without ceasing. But what will you gain if you lose your soul to bow down to these false gods? Egotos, Egotos, please. Do you really want a riot on your hands? This is the man that has saved me, saved so many. Please. This crowd is going out of control. Release him. 
Take him down off the cross. Let him go. No. No. My time to die for Christ has come. I'm ready. And as the soldiers try to take him off the cross. What? What is it? Oh, my hands! Oh, I can't feel it! They suddenly lost use of their hands. My Lord, my Master, my Teacher, I am an unworthy servant. I have only done my duty. Then, from heaven, a white light shone upon Andrew. Into thy hands I commend my spirit. <sighs> and thus, Andrew surrendered his spirit unto the Lord. St. Andrew, the first called, is now known as the enlightener of many nations, including Ukraine, Russia, Scotland, and many others, and his legacy lives on to this day. See these hills of Kiev? Upon these hills shall shine forth the beneficence of God, and there will be a great city here, and God shall raise up many churches. Holy Apostle Andrew, the first called, pray unto God for us. What an episode, huh? Amen. Truly inspiring and amazing episode and so fun to take part in. It was. It was uh, such a unique experience, um, even for us, right? We're like, yeah. what, we're getting close to 30 episodes into this thing, I think on some level at least. Yeah. And this one felt very new for, as we've mentioned in, in the previous episode. And I think we might've said it uh, here. It's like, this is the first time we approached uh, the story of a saint mm -hmm. right from the pages of the new Testament. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like every episode is, is we're charting and we're going into uncharted territory. Yeah. yeah so thank really you for exciting. joining us. And we hope that you were inspired by it. Amen. You know, in some ways, St. Andrew, you know, he's such a juggernaut, you know, in terms of the, the faith, you know, we we've talked now and, um, learned so much about his, uh, story. And I'm hoping a lot of you right now listening to this maybe didn't know that St. Andrew went on and did all these things, you know, yeah. I can attest Nick, I can tell you right now, I was raised in a evangelical home. I went to a private Christian school mm. uh, for from preschool through my freshman year of high school. We had chapel every Thursday. We had Bible class. Mm. I was throughout my you know teen years. I was I was a evangelical Christian, etc. I never knew yeah. any of this. Well, I that's never a... knew the story after the the Book of Acts. Well, that's the amazing thing. It's not in the Bible, you know, so Bible study will not, you know, cover it if you're only covering what's in the Bible. But that's mm -hmm. the amazing thing. It's not like after the book of Acts that these people vanished, that these saints vanished, right? Their story right. goes on and we're living in the impact that they've created. Amen. Amen. So, and to see how literally, Nick, the world was changed. Yeah not just, you know, in some spiritual way, like literally his evangelism yeah. formed these churches that to this day have carried on. And as we know, like in places like Russia, yeah. the church is such a pivotal part of what, it, of the identity of Russia, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and to know that St. Andrew was, was the colonel you yeah. know, the seed there, that's, it's mm -hmm. just a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful thing to think yeah. that he was the first called, right? He was the first, one of the first ones to, to have that childlike faith, to yeah. actually believe 
you know, and, and Christ used him so powerfully. So it, it is yeah. it's inspiring and an what amazing an honor, story, right? What an honor to be able to yeah. tell his story to our audience. Yeah. The first call of the apostles that we've chosen. So yeah. by God's grace, by God's grace, we'll have the strength and ability to tell even more of the apostle stories, God willing. So amen. Amen. Exactly. So, you know, kind of Nick on that note, um, we are just absolutely thrilled and and have some exciting things to tell you guys about. Um, there's a too new, much, a, 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 too much exactly <laughs> more than we can keep up with. Yeah, uh, which is why we're telling you so late. Uh, probably. Uh, in fact, Nick, I, I'll give this away to our audience. Where it's what it's almost midnight right now. <laughs> Lord of we're, mercy. We're uh, we're throwing the tracks down uh, as the trains come in. <laughs> still, even still, full steam ahead. Full steam full ahead. Steam. Yep. God give us strength. Amen. But we, we really are. We're so excited for that, for that you're here and we have some new stuff right on the horizon. Nick, tell yeah. us about one of our, one of these uh, new projects up and coming. Yeah. You know, one of our most beloved, well, actually we beloved, we love them all, but one yeah. of our most talented voice actors, John, he played the voice of Egitos, uh, Egitos. Egitos, Egitos. I can never say that name right. I would have got it wrong too. Uh, in this episode, he played Egitos, and he has taken it upon himself to, if you know the stories of the screw tape letters, to create his own contemporary version. And we are excited to tell you that we will be releasing this new series that we call the Orthodox Screw Tape Letters, or something along those lines. We're not even sure of the title yet, but all we yeah. know is that we're making it and we're sending it to you guys to listen to very soon. Super guys, exciting, well-written in the yes. spirit of C.S. Lewis, truly. Yes. It's, it's a masterpiece. A treat. It really yeah. is. It's going to be a lot of fun. He's a very talented, very talented individual. And he has, in many ways, uh, I don't want to say dedicated his life, but he... I think it's fair to say that John would say himself that voice acting is a big part of his life. Oh yeah. Which is why us meeting him, you know, when we're in the middle of, of, you know, creating this podcast was such a providential so, yeah. uh, event. And now as Nick was saying, he's, he has this vision for finding the lost screw tape letters. You might say, I like that. Uh, or maybe screw tape has returned to the modern era, would you might wink, say. Wink. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But you guys just wait. Uh, and we're hoping, Nick, by God's grace, our audience might be hearing this very soon, sooner than you think. Yeah, very soon. I mean, we have, we he has episodes written for the Christmas Advent season and why the demons hate the incarnation of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And it might, it might teach us some stuff too. Absolutely. So, and, yeah. You know, in addition to that, um, you know, Cloud of Witnesses Radio, Cloud of, Ritten Cloud of Witnesses Productions, um, we, we hope that you guys are going to begin to see the unfolding vision of this podcast. And that is really kind of expanding and and going beyond the pages, of, of, if you will, of the lives of the saints to even inform the, the, the current conversation, right? Mm -hmm. We always, of course by God's grace, want to be guided not only by our parish, our priests, our spiritual fathers, but the fathers of the church and the saints of the church and through their lives. Mm -hmm. And one way we want to help bring that to you and increase, um, you know, kind of the exposure to what it means to live an, a, a, the life of an Orthodox Christian is by bringing in all these other voices from our community. You guys, really sorry about that. We were having a little bit of technical difficulties there. Um, and this, Nick, kind of goes to the point we've talked about before. You guys, we're really hoping that if you don't mind or if you can prayerfully consider supporting this podcast, we need to purchase our own equipment. Um, right now, Nick and I are kind of using a hodgepodge, if you will, of equipment. Some of it's ours, some of it we're borrowing. We have to move it around a lot, and it's not the most ideal situation when it comes to using, um, you know, professional grade equipment. And so we're really hoping, anyways, over time that we can raise enough funds to purchase our own equipment. Yeah, we have a lot that we want to bring to everyone, and by God's grace, we'll have the strength to do so. 
anyways yeah look forward to our uh, thinking like the saints episode where we get the cast after we recorded this episode and we just talk about how it was recording it and going through that story so we'll be sending th- that to you guys soon and we also have a christmas special you'll have to watch out for coming soon yeah that's exciting yeah so it, lots of great things coming you guys uh god is good so thank you so much for listening up to this point remember you can find us all over the place online cloud of witnesses radio cloud of witnesses journey with the saints go check us out on instagram please go check out our patreon uh we would love to see you over there say hi and we'll say hi back